We're from Ink Master, and we're uh, going to be talking about some celebrity tats. Just judging by a lot of the tattoos that Lil Wayne has, he got a lot of them when he was really young, and he just started getting, you know, the term is getting blasted, getting as many tattoos as you can. A lot of his tattoos are not about having quality tattoos. It's more about having a lot of tattoos. I myself have a lot of tattoos that I really cherish that aren't great works of art. They're more tattoos that I got from friends of mine. The one thing we know about Justin Bieber is that in all senses, he has the worst taste imaginable. So it does not surprise me at all that every tattoo he has is completely terrible. He's known for paying tattooers to come to his house and tattoo him so he can sit around in his underwear and not have to go to a tattoo shop. We call this littered with garbage. I did not know that Rihanna had a big crazy hand tat. I think it's better when it's done in henna because then it goes away. <laughs> I love mom tattoos, I have one. If it wasn't for mama, we wouldn't be here. So give thanks to that. If his arm is down and this tattoo is right side up, this is actually a wow tattoo. If you want your tattoo to say mom, you gotta get it facing the right direction. This is a tattoo done the traditional way. It's very cool to get this tattoo done like this. Uh, when I was in Thailand, we went and we found the monks. It's a large risk because the majority of the monks, the way they tattoo is everybody gets the same tools. So there's a big kind of Trust There's no in, health department over there. And the way that they do it is very meticulous. It's really a very hard thing to learn, and not just anybody can pick up and do this. And to be able to do these intricate patterns with one needle takes a really long amount of time and a heavy amount of enduring pain. So she suffered for this. Well, I think this is a crazy one. Barring the fact that the guy got a portrait of himself on his back, it's very Steve-O-esque, but the actual work itself, the portrait that Jack did is great. To get the, a portrait by Jack Rudy is a very coveted thing. Um, Steve-O kind of making a mockery of it here, getting his own stupid face on there. This lion is a mess. Getting a little lion portrait on your finger is a bad idea, and for 25 years, real tattooers have been warning people against stuff like this because it does not last or age. and. If you look at this photo, you can tell you end up with this, this little turd smear on your finger. I mean, this lion looks like a lion. You know, there's only so much that is capable in the healing process in the skin. This lion looks like what it's supposed to. It healed. It's a nice tattoo. Um, you shrink it down to one eighth of that size to put it on the finger, it just doesn't work. This is the purest example of you just don't care anymore. I think face tattoos for people that are not fully covered, um, no matter how permitting the world seems to feel, there are other cultures, other places where you're going to travel and at points these things could be a hindrance or it could be a problem. And I understand self-expression. I got tattooed because at the time I wanted to be rebellious or I wanted to feel a certain way. Um, but getting your face tattooed without a full bodysuit is a bit much. It's one of Nunez's favorite tattoo motifs. <laughs> skin rips with mechanical parts. I like any kind of skin rip. I'm in. I think they're great. <clears throat> this is clean. You know, it has, uh, it has legible shading to it. It keeps it open and can breathe. And it fits his forearm well. I was shocked to see Jamie Foxx get this tattoo. I didn't think it was real at first. The thing about this kind of tattoo is that, you know, <clears throat> you're a couple weeks from it not being visible. Just let your hair grow out and it goes away. I will say this. I'm almost 100% certain that Chris Brown can afford a better tattoo than this. Oof. I mean, if you paid as much for your tattoos as you'd pay for that watch, he'd be have some nice tattoos. It's a nice watch. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. That's funny. This is this, I got is, the, like this that. is the perfect example of a party tat. Yeah. I have many. This is not a quality tattoo. This is not something that you know I would recommend. Oh, I recommend it. There is a big thing about getting Japanese or or Korean or Chinese or any kind of uh, kanji written on you that it's a great thing to get 
if you want to keep your tattoo personal to you because it, it can be artistic, it can be beautiful, it can fit the body, and it can mean whatever it means to you, and you can choose whether you share with whoever else what this tattoo means. A lot of people over the last couple of decades have gotten tattoos that they thought said something and actually said something else. Anytime that an American-born person has their name tattooed on them in any form of kanji, it's wrong. It does not say their name. I think this kind of tattoo is very reminiscent of when people bring in Crayola drawings of their, their young children and be like, my kids are this, I want it tattooed. I'm like, all right. 